शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाद्या जगद्व्यापी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अवयधाम जाढ़्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटिक मलिका विदती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा दक्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्यांकोम्यहम पाणिनी प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी in hal sandhi we were looking at the sutra shituk shituk so shituk says that there is a tugagama which is uh, ordained when shakara shakara uh, shakaradi shakaradi word follows so padantasya nasya for nakara there is a tugagama ordained when uh, she follows and it is a vibhasha optionally it is uh, ordained and we saw in uh, uh, the derivation of sanchambhu uh, the sandhi there in sanchambhu we saw various forms we get uh, chatvam there is a chatva abhava so shakara means shakara or uh, shakara becomes chakara and tugagama itself being uh, optional either you that tuk becomes uh, tuk tuk takara becomes chakara or it does not become chakara but in any of these cases nakara becomes the varga panchama by stosh chunashchu so stosh chunashchu applies uh, if tugagama is there it applies uh, twice otherwise it applies only once and shashchoti shashchoti or ami ami iti vaktavyam that applies and brings chakara adesha to shakara and when that applies then uh, you get chan chambhu otherwise san chan shambhu and so on so we saw four uh, different forms next sutra says namo haswad dachi namo nityam uh, just a second namo nityam yeah uh, so this sandhi is not applied there okay sutra is 8332 namo haswad dachi namo nityam So, so if had their sandhi been applied, this nakara would have become nakara again. There would have been a murdhani adesh here also. Natvam would have happened, but that is not applied uh, in the sutra itself to keep it clear. So, namo hrasvadachi namo nityam says namaha namaha hrasvat hrasvat after hrasva when ach follows achi pare. नमो नित्यम नमो इज द आदेश नित्यम भवति सो नम नम इज नम ह्रस्वा नम ह्रस्वा इज पंचमी एक वचन नम एंड फर्दर ह्रस्वा इज ऑल्सो ह्रस्वा इज ऑल्सो पंचमी एक वचन नम इज वॉट नम गण नम इन दैट सूत इन दी महेश्वर सूता सूत्र न्यमगणनम इट्स सॉरी न्यमगणनम न्यम न नम इन दिस सूत्र महेश्वर सूत्र स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द थर्ड हियर न न एंड न सो दीज थ्री आर are the content so makara is it so nyakara nakara or nakara so you are able to see only ashtadhyay is it okay let me check what happened there how about now okay it was not now you are able to see uh, the uh, doc google doc yeah so sorry for some reason that was not selected in uh, screen sharing so anyway so i uh, completed this this these are the four optional forms i was giving this four option uh, four forms and optionally chatvam or uh, this tugagama which becomes chakara so that's what i said earlier anyway so namo hrasvad achi namo nityam says namaha nakara 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 nyamagananam sutra the 
five letters are there in the Maheshwara Sutra. So now, Nyakara, Kavarga, Varga Panchama and Nakara, Tavarga, Varga Panchama and Nakara, Tavarga, uh, Varga Panchama, these three letters, when these three letters, Panchami Ekvachana, are followed by Raswa, Raswat is also Panchami Ekvachana, but these are obviously not in Samanadi Karanyam. Raswa can be only for a vowel and nyam, nyakara, nakara, nakara are so actually it is uh, nyakara, nyakara, nakara and nakara they are they are what? They are consonants. So raswa, so what does it mean? Nyakara, nakara, nakara followed by raswa. When followed by raswa so there is Situation is nyam letter is followed by a raswa. Raswa, raswa ach obviously and which is followed by an ach letter, achi pare. Ach is saptami ekvachana. When this situation exists, then what happens? Namut nityam. Namut is the adesha and it is nityam. Nityam bhavati. Nityam namut adesha. So that is the adesha. Hmm. Actually, uh, nityam can be, uh, nityam is, uh, uh, so it is an adverbial, in this adverbial sense that uh, definitely it will be there. So, it is dvitiya ekvachana. Yeah, dvitiya ekvachana antam, kriya visheshanam. So, it is a kriya visheshanam, adverbial sense. So, nyamut, nyamut adeshana. What is nyamut adesha? Same. Nyamaha, nyamun. This is Nyamut actually, Nyamut, Nyamun Nityam and here it is Nyamut is, Nyamut is uh, this way, it is actually Nyamun and you see this Natvam, Takara has become uh, Nakara by the Sandhi with Nakara here. So Nyamut Nityam, that is the Adesha, Nyamaha Raswa Ach, then what happens then Nyamut, Nyamut, Nyamut is Nyam, basically uh, Ukara and Takara, Takara is it by Halantyam and Tasselopa and Ukara by Upadeshi Jannanasikha, therefore Nyam is the Adesha. So Nyam you see when Nyam is followed by Raswa which is followed by Ach, then Nyam, uh, Nyam is the uh, Nyamut, uh, not Adesha actually, Nyamut, so you see what, what does the uh, Lagukara say, Raswa Nyam, Raswa Pare Yo Nyam, Tadantam yat padam tasmat parasya achaha nyamut. So, uh, raswat paras pare yaha nyam. So, nyama, uh, I, I made a mistake here. Nyam and, so not raswa, nyam and raswa, sorry, raswa. Because raswa is ach and achi pare, there will be sandhi between these. It will not be uh, right. So, I, I made a mistake, sorry. Panchami, I just wrote in the sequence. So, raswa, raswa ach. Raswa is an ach. So, raswa ach followed by Raswa Ach followed by a Nyam letter which is followed by an Ach which is followed by an Ach this is the Sandhi then then what Raswat Pare Yaha Nyam this Nyam which is after a Raswa Tadantam Yat Padam and Nyam is what Nyam Antam Nyam Antam Padam so uh, this entire thing is a Pada this entire thing would be a Pada and this would be a Padanta Nyam Padanta Nyam Yat padam tasmat parasya achaha nyamut. Achaha. So parasya achaha. For this, there will be a nyamut adesh, adesha. Not an adesha, sorry. Nyamut agama. Nyamut is uh, tith. Therefore, it is a tith agama. I have been saying adesha. Nyamut is ordained. That's what we, I should be saying. Nyamut is ordained. Whether it's an adesha or an agama, we will know by the it letter or in which section it is there or from the, uh, from what? Uh, follows in the vritti. So what is being said here? This nyamaha, nyamaha is panchami. This is pan, in panchami here. This so something should follow this. That becomes the as per panchami. It's in the sutra. It says that this ach is the uh, is the sthani. Whereas achi in saptami say that whatever this is is the sthani. Therefore nyam is the sthani. But in this case, when Panchami and Saptami both exist, and when there is no Shashti, then I have told earlier, 
panchami nirdesh nirdesha baliyan so whatever is shown by the panchami that is baliyan therefore this is stronger between the two and thereby nyamaha being stronger this will indicate the following as sthani therefore ach is the sthani now nyamut agama if it is because it is stith it is an agama and nyamut agama when it is ordained for ach where should it go adyanto takito therefore uh, tith agama will go at the beginning at the beginning of ach at the beginning of this meaning what nyam will come and sit here so what will happen after this nyam will come so if i put this together what will be the effect is nyam will come this nyam this nyam which is ordained here this will come and sit before the ach so this is what will happen so effectively what is happening if you look at it effectively what is happening this nyam is duplicated that is the effect so simple way to understand this sutra is whenever a hraswa letter follows hraswa vowel follows and uh, rather a nyam letter is sandwiched between a hraswa vowel and a short vowel which is followed by a vowel then this nyam will be duplicated will be doubled because when nyam is ordained for uh, nyam what 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 letter which letter between nyakara nakara and nakara will be uh, will be the agama here which is closest in proximity to sthana uh, sthana and uh, closest in proximity to sthana and um, with the uh, proximity of sthana and, uh, and prayatna yatna sthana and yatna should be uh, which should be closest to the sthani uh, not to this actually to the sthani but here sthani as in uh, although ach is the sthani this will go and sit before and it will be in uh, closer to nyam so therefore what which will be the letter the same letter whichever letter is there in nyam the same letter will be the agama here therefore it is equivalent to saying that this will be duplicated so hraswat pare yah nyam तदंतम यत पदम तस्मात पर अचह न्यमुट आगम होती एंड देर फोर यू विल गेट एज दो इट इज डुप्लीकेटेड एग्जाम्पल्स गिवन आर गिवन आर प्रत्यंग आत्मा प्रत्यंग 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 अंचु धातु से अंचु धातु हैज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ वेरिएशन वन वे डिक्लेंस इज प्रत्यंग दिस इज प्रथम एक वचन प्रत्यंग चौ so atma cha atma cha so in vedanta you say this pratyang atma pratyang atma is what the innermost self why innermost self atma is actually what it can be taken as sharira it can be taken as antakarana it can be taken as any of the pancha koshas so therefore pratyang atma means the innermost self where you cannot go any further inside that is pratyang atma so in the taitiriya prakriya in pancha kosha you have to decide that annamaya kosha is removed then uh, uh, pranamaya kosha is removed manomaya kosha vijnanamaya kosha is taken atma that is uh, understood as uh, a kosha it is not atma anymore and then anandamaya kosha uh, anandamaya atma is understood as anandamaya kosha and finally the uh, shuddha atma satchidananda atma is pratyang atma that is the innermost atma you cannot go any further inside that is the real i the real me is that so pratyang cha so atma cha karma dharaya that is pratyang atma so therefore pratyang and then supratya plus atman atman is the pratipadikam plus supratya and then this is krutadya samasaascha pratipadikam because it is a samasa it is it gets a pratipadika sanya and thereby there is a sup look and you will get pratyang and atman atman what will happen pratyang plus atman now he says pratyang so this pratyang is what pratya pratya a and ang and a if you look at these this is the situation where this sutra comes into play 
अकार न्यकार अकारा इज ह्रस्व अच न्यकारा इज न्यम एंड न्यम लेटर एंड आ इज एन अच देर फोर ह्रस्वात परे न्यम तदंतम तदंतम यत पदम दिस प्रत्यंग इज अ पदम तदंतम यत पदम न्यमंतम न्यमंतम यत पदम विच इज प्रिसिडेड बाय ह्रस्व अच सो ह्रस्वात यह न्यम तदंतम यत पदम हियर प्रत्यंग इत पदम तस्मात तस्मात परस्य अचाह फॉर दिस न्यमुट आगम भवति सो न्यमुट इज ऑर्डेंड हियर आद्यंत टकी तो विल ब्रिंग इन ब्रिंग इन प्रत्यंग प्रत्य अकार विच वी ऑलरेडी हैव एंड देन यू विल गेट न्या यू विल गेट न्या बाय न्या दिस इज द आदेश प्रत्यंगा प्रत्यंगा दिस इज बाय वॉट आद्यंत टकी तो आद्यंत टकी तो so by this being pit it will go at the beginning and therefore you get nya a will become nya and then you just there's a varna melanam you add them together pratyam atma pratyam atman atman and then you add decline it by adding su you add su and you'll get what pratyang atma i'll not go into details of how it becomes uh, atman there is we'll do do it in subanta when we derive subanta because i see that we are able to manage only few sutras every class atma so that is it uh, basically what happens is atman is there there is an upada dirgha and then uh, nakar lopa so na lopa pratipadika antasya so there is an upada dirghatvam so i'll just mention here upada dirghatvam upada dirghatvam tum and followed by nakar lopa na lopa na lopa is na lopa pratipadika antasya so nakar at the end of uh, pratipadika this is a pratipadika which is at the end of the pada so this this, this uh, before that there is a halni uh, this is a hal therefore halnibya halnyabhyo sutisya pruktam hal lupyate so there is a this sutra we have seen and mentioned hal halnyabhyo yo sutisya pruktam apruktam hal hal so that sutra is this much and then there is a uh, loop or uh, lopa happens so lupyate loop is ordained so thereby you will get pratyang atman first you will get pratyang atman and then upada dirghatvam will follow you will get pratyang atma pratyang atma atma by this is a pada now upada dirghatvam nalopa and suptiṃ antam padam pratyangatma similarly what is the next example second i'll see we'll see the other examples so other example is sugan isha sugan isha is suganaanam Su- sugana so just a second how will sugan like marut marutam marutam suganam ishah let me cross check whether uh, uh, it is sugan would be a mathematician or a uh, an accountant let's say so tesham ishah suganam ishah so best among them we can say best among them suganam ishah would become what समास आगे सो सुगणामीश षष्टि तत्पुरुष सामस सुगण सुगण प्लस ईश ईश आफ्टर सुपलुक सो आफ्टर सुपलुक दिस इज वॉट यू गेट सुगण प्लस ईश एंड देन सुगण 
doubling will happen suganishah because gakara uttara akara is a hraswa nakara is a nyamut because nyakara nakara and nakara three examples he has taken and then isha ikara is a is an achswachi pare suganishah sannachyuta is also what now san being so sannachyuta is existent achyuta so achyuta sannachyuta existent achyuta vishnu who is existent so will become san nachyuta and then when you do varna mela you get sannachyuta so that's the sutra namo hraswad uh, achi namo nityam next sutra says samasuti now to understand this uh, this is a little tricky uh, samo roop suti uh, so uh, let's just go to the section 83 to see what is happening samasuti see there is a roop prakaranam and i had mentioned last time that roop prakaranam sa- sakara which is at the end of a pada usually that becomes ru but in the section there are 12 sutras in the ru prakaranam starts from 831 to 8312 it's called ru prakaranam starts by the sutra matu vaso ru sambuddho chandasi our sutra is here samasuti is 835 this sutra we are interested right now in this sutra uh, samasuti and followed by a vartika later so matu vaso ru sambuddho chandasi this is what this sutra says ru ru is in first case matu uh, consider matu and vasanta uh, sam uh, matu panta vasanta ru is the adesha when so in sambuddhi in sambuddhi meaning what in sambodhana ekvachana sambodhana ekvachana is called as sambuddhi so sambuddho sambuddho in sambuddhi and that to not any sambuddhi only in chandasa prayoga chandasi means in vedas so this sutra says that in vedas uh, matu vasoho for matu and vasu whatever that is matu vasoho will not go into detail there ru is the adesha and this ru goes till 12 okay we'll see these uh, sutra atra anunasika purvasya tu va and anunasika parona swara next it's coming up next in laghu not atoti nityam but this 832 and 834 will come next but samasuti is what samasuti ru ru is the adesha so that's how you get samasuti and here you will get ru ru is the adesha in prathama ekvachana and what is samaha 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 is panchami ekvachana suti is saptami ekvachana what is suti suti is suti it is sut sut is another agama sut is another agama ordained elsewhere somewhere in some sutra sud agama is ordained so what does uh, lagukara say samaha ru suti that's all he says ruhu is ruhu is ru uh, sorry ruhu ruhu suti ru is the adesha ru is the adesha when sut follows what sam sam is what sam is an upasarga sam is an upasarga and uh, the example here is he is not giving any example he is directly going to the next sutra we'll look at which example he is dealing with which example he is he dealing with uh, there are no examples here see atra ru prakane ro purva anunasikasya anunasikah va then anunasikam vihaya ro ho purva smat para anuswaragama no example he has taken till now then kharavasana kharavasana yor visarjaniya here khari avasana che padanta refasya visarga uh, sampunkanam so vaktavya what is the sampunkanam so vaktavya under samasuti there is sampunkanam so vaktavya to exp- he is going to take uh, this vartika not samasuti sutra here he is taking this vartika sampunkanam so vaktavya to understand this vartika obviously he needs to talk about this sutra and this sutra can be understood you can reach here being in tripadi everything that precedes has to be seen whether it is applicable or not and in that 
832 or 834 are definitely applicable why because there is a va here due to vibhasha if 832 applies then 834 will not apply if 832 does not apply then 834 will apply then there is a scope for 835 because it has to be done in sequence we'll see what it means now what is his example his example is samskarta this is the example so we'll go back and you will see how this is derived only after kharavasane or visarjini applies you will get this form there is a lot to be done before that and after that also but we'll see uh, what is this example here now samskarta is what kind of an example now how is it made here it is sorry sam samskarta we have to land on samskarta it is sam plus definitely krudhatu is there and karta where you get you get trich pratyaya so trich pratyaya is added here trich pratyaya when you decline this it will become karta so kru plus tru trich will become give you you karta so we will take karta itself now karta because it has to be derived before you add an upasarga so this anga is derived now kru plus tru has been derived and it let's say it is declined and let's assume it will be actually samskar through actually it will be samskar through and then uh, su will be added after these this is derived it will be added but uh, we have a situation we have to go to tripadi so therefore we'll keep it as karta and take it forward from here so this is the example sam plus karta not karta it is uh, yeah it is sam plus karta i'll just put it in bracket sam plus kru dhatu plus trich is the pratipadika here so this i have put in bracket let's take it uh, further this is what it is equal to so i kept it this is how it has come come back uh, equal to is not need now what happens samah after sam there is a kru dhatu there is a kru dhatu so there is a sutra which says संपरिभ्याम करोतो जस्ट अ सेकेंड लेट मी चेक विच सूत्र इज दिस सम परिभ्याम सिक्स वन वन थर्टी सेवन सो देर अ सूत्र विच सेज संपरिभ्य करोतो भूषणे भूषणे सिक्स थ्री सिक्स वन वन थर्टी सेवन सिक्स वन वन थर्टी सेवन वी नीड दिस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हियर एंड व्हाट इज दिस सुट सुडागमा सुडागमा हैज टू कम दैट्स व्हाई वी आर लुकिंग एट दैट सूत्र आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन द सूत्र सिक्स वन वन थर्टी सेवन और वन थर्टी एट इन अवर बुक सिक्स वन So six one one thirty six here. See here, you see. Shut kat purva ha. Shut and the shut goes till or the entire sutra goes to shut prakaran. It says shut prakaran, shut agama prakaran goes till one fifty seven. And our sutra here of interest, which ordains that uh, shut agama, is this sutra. Sam sam pariyupebhya karo to bhushane. Sam pariyupebhya. So sam pari and upa. Sam परी एंड उपार उपसर्गास भयाइस दिस चतुर्थी बहुवचन व्हेन सम परी एंड उपाहा उपा आर फॉलोड बाय व्हाट करोतो करोतो इज करोती करोती सप्तमी एक वचन करोती इज नॉट तिंगंता हियर इट इज अ सुबंत पद व्हिच इज करोती इज मीन दुक्रुंज करणे दैट दुक्रुंज करणे व्हेन दैट धात दुक्रुंज करणे फॉलोस दैट अलोन विल गिव यू करोती फॉर्म then dukrunj krud ha to follows dukrunj ha to follows uh, then what bhushane so uh, what is the uh, kashika says kashike sampari upaityebhya bhushanarthe karotu paratha bhushanarthe karotu parataha sutkat purvo bhavati so sutkat purvo bhavati 
कात पूर्वा सुट मावती सो वंडर यू से इफ वी एक्सपांड अवर विद अनुवृत्ति भूषणे सुट सुडागमह कात पूर्वा भावती सुटकात पूर्वा दैट इज़ द अनुवृत्ति सो देवरफॉर व्हाट सम सम परी उपेभ्य सम इज़ देर करोतो क्रुधातु इज़ देर दिस क्रुधातु इज़ देर सो सम प्लस क्रु इज़ सेटिस्फाइड भूषणे अर्थे फॉरगेट दैट राइट नाउ भूषणे अर्थे इट इट इज़ संस्कृता यू से सम्यक कर्ता संस्कृता सो संस्कृता और संस्कृत यू टेक संस्कृत वर्ड संस्कृत संस्कृत इज़ व्हाट सम सम्यक कृतम सो इट इज़ भूषणा द लैंग्वेज व्हिट इज़ वेल मेड दैट दैट इज़ अ प्रेज सो भूषणे अर्थे इज़ आल्सो देर सो संस्कृता इज़ आल्सो दैट भूषणे अर्थे इट इज़ देर सो भूषणे अर्थे करो तो दैट धातु व्हिच विल फाइनली एंड अप इन द वर्ड एस विद अ भूषणा अर्था देन व्हाट लेपन कात पूर्वा कात पूर्वा ककारा बिफोर ककारा कात पूर्वा व्हाट लेपन सुडागम सुडागम हा पूर्वा भवती सेस कात पूर्वा हा सुडागम हा भवती ओके सो सुट इज प्लेस बिफोर सुट इज प्लेस बिफोर Kakara. So now soot will come where? Soot will come before Kakara here. Soot has to come and sit here. What is the content of soot? Sakara is the content. Therefore, uh, when this sutra is added, is applied, then you will get what? Sum, Sakara and Karta. This is what you will get. So Samskarta. This is what is the meaning of that sutra and thereby we have got Samskarta. Now when you have Samskarta, Samaha Ru Suti. Suti Pare. So this Sakara is what? It's a Sudagama Sakara. So Suti Pare condition is met. So Samat Suti. Samat Suti Ruhu Adesha Bhavati. After Sam, when Sudagama follows, then uh, there is a Ruhu ru Adesha. For what will there be a Ruhu Adesha? It will be, Ruhu Adesha will be for what? It will be for Samaha Ru. So Samaha was which case? Samaha, uh, Samaha uh, no, is not Panchami, sorry, panch, uh, this is Shashti Ekvachana. Samaha is, earlier I had marked that, that as Panchami here. Nyam, Nyam was Panchami, here it is Shashti, I am sorry, this is a mistake. So Samaha Ru, that's why it says not Samaha Para, Samaha Ru. Samaha is Shashti. Otherwise, the, had this been Panchami, then Agama will go to Sut. Uh, not Agama, the Ru Adesha will go to Sut, but Ru Adesha should not go to Sut, it should go to Sum. And should the entire Sum be replaced? No, Alontyasya, uh, Alontyasya, Alontyasya, by that Makara will become the Stani. Sum is the Stani word, Makara is the Stani, stani therefore you will get what? Saru, you will get Saru. Makara will be replaced by Ru. So you will get Saru Skarta. This is by our current sutra Samas Suti. So you got Saru Skarta. Now we will look at this section of 831. What happens is 831 says not 831, in that section of Ru Prakarana, what it says is, whenever, whenever Ru is added, whenever Ru is added, that time what happens? Atra, Atra is, we will see in the next sutra, Atra Anunasika Purvasyatu Va, by Vibhasha, so this is, this is the partial derivation. We can't do anything further than this till we have another sutra. So this next sutra is brought by Lagukara because Atra uh, Atra is in Atar Ru Prakarne. He says Atra Ru Prakarne Ru Prakarne Raha Purvasya Anunasika Anunasika Va Atra anu, Atra is in this Ru Prakarna in the first twelve sutras of third section of eight chapter. So eight three one to eight three twelve is Atra. 
रू प्रकरण रोहो रोहो इज षष्टी एक वचन ऑफ वॉट ऑफ रू सो रोहो पूर्व से रोहो के इज इज पंचमी पंचमी एक वचन बट इट इज ऑफ रू सो बिफोर रू रोहो पूर्व से अनुनासिक विभाषय अनुनासिक होती वेर इज दिस अनुनासिक ऑर्डेड अनुनासिक इज ऑर्डेड वेन अत्र रू प्रकरण वेन रू इज एज सून एज यू एड रू देन दिस सूत्र इज इनवोक्ट विभाषय विभाषय टू विभाषय पूर्व से पूर्व से अत्र अत्र इज इज एन अव्यय इन दि से ऑफ सप्तमी सो अत्र अनुनासिक इज दि आदेश अनुनासिक इज दि आदेश फॉर वॉट पूर्व से अत्र पूर्व से अनुनासिक आदेश होती कस्य पूर्व से रोहो पूर्व से बिकॉज यू हैव दिस रू अंडरगोज सो ही से रू रू इज कमिंग हियर सो देर फोर आई हैव टू एड रू नाउ दिस रू अंडरगोज विभक्ति परिणाम एंड ही से रोहो पूर्व से रोहो पूर्व से इज बिफोर रू बिफोर रू देर इज अ चेंज ऑफ विभक्ति परिणाम हेयर रू अंडर गोज विभक्ति परिणाम एंड इल बिकम वॉट रोहो रोहो इन पंचमी एक वचन सो अत्र रोहो पूर्व से रोहो पूर्व से बिफोर रू सो बिफोर दिस रू विच विच हेज बीन एडेड नाउ पूर्व से तू वा अनुनासिक आदेश होती सो देर बी अनुनासिक हियर सो वॉट विल हैपन ही से in derivation let's say we have reached here samskarta purva se anunasika va vibhasha let's say we took this option so if we took this option see what is ru content of ru here ru has been added ru when you add ru what will you have you will have sir because ru ukara is it letter only sir will be there so you have reached samskarta and what will happen with this now when you apply this sutra atra anunasika purva se tu va you take this option of va and you apply then this sar sarskarta will become what before this ru this refa is actually ru ru refa it is not a plain refa it is ru refa therefore roho is panchami ek vachana aur shashti ek vachana of what of ru and what is ru only refa is remaining it uh, elsewhere you see raha raha uh, panchami or shashti ek vachana of refa would be raha here it is of ru therefore that refa which has come from ru the ru refa uh, in panchami ek vachana will be roho so before this roho purvasya before this re, refa what is there akara is there there is a sakara akara and refa this refa is ru refa therefore before this akara akara which exists that akara will take anunasika uh, will take anunasika so thereby what will you get here now uh, anunasika let me just uh, add, see what there is an in in this two things there is one is a uh, is an is an adesha the other is a agama the fourth sutra will given agama so now what will happen is that you will get uh, you should get a anus anunasika here uh, anunasika uh, just a second i am just referring to the form how it is derived this is a little complicated section because a lot of adesh has to get one form and in this particular derivation there are 108 forms there are 108 forms uh okay okay so uh, a little tricky uh, so this akara has to become anunasika this is not really uh, so when you say make it an anunasika that time you can't uh, you can't have an anunasika adesha which will replace something you cannot replace this with anunas uh, anu, anunasika 
So Anunasika is what this Akara will become Anunasika as in this Akara will be replaced by Anunasika Akara otherwise there is nothing called as Anunasika. Anunasika Akara will be replaced by Anunasika Akara, nasalized Akara. So that's why this Akara will become what now? It will become nasalized. Uh, uh, it will become um, Anunasika, not nasalized, anu, Anunasika. Uh, so Mukha, mukha Nasika, Vachano Anunasika. So Mukha and Nasika both are there. It is not nasalized. Anuswara would be nasalized. Anunasika is uh, Akara should also be there and nasalization of that Akara should be there. Therefore, you will get what? This A will become Anunasika. As in Akara will be replaced by Anunasika Akara. That's what it means that being an Adesha. So, you will get the form will be what? This this Sa is not full. This Sa is Sakara, only Sakara. Then what happens is that this will be written as san sanskarta so this much you have derived it's very difficult to pronounce halfway through the entire padam only you can uh, pronounce so sanskarta then what is the other option if va va as in you do not take this option of anunasika then this sutra fourth sutra is applicable where he says Anunasika, Anunasikat Paronuswaraha, Anunasikat Paronuswara, Anuswara is the Adesha. So there nasalization is, is an Agama now. So he says Anunasikat Paraha, Anunasikat Paraha here, this is a different kind of Panchami, as in, different as in, different from what we have seen in, uh, in the Sutra so far as Sutra, Sutra has a different Panchami interpretation of panchami but what is this this is uh, digyoga panchami uh, not digyoga it is uh, this comparison other than so other than anuswara is the agama ordained par, paraha so paraha anunasikat paraha anuswara so para is uh, says where there is no anunasika so different from para as in different from anunasika Different from Anunasika means what? Uh, which has been ordained here. Atra Anunasika Purvasitu Va. So in this section where there is no Anunasika, different from that Anunasika means where there is no Anunasika ordained. Or rather you don't take the Vibhasha option of making it an anus, Anunasika, then Anuswara should be, uh, there should be an Anuswara Agama then. So what is he saying? See, uh, what is the meaning of this sutra? Meaning can be understood only through the vritti. Anunasikam vihaya roho paras purvasmat paraha anuswara agamaha. So this is also difficult to understand. Anunasikam vihaya means where there is no anunasika option taken. From the sutra 832, if you do not make the earlier anunasika adesha, then you have not taken the option in only in that case if you have taken this adesha then you will get this form let's say if where you don't take this adesha anunasika adesha there you don't get this form only sar remains not sar not sar but sar remains then he says then anuswara is applicable where is, should this anuswara go so he says roho purvasmat paraha purvasmat paraha means what whatever so this uh, this is one option, so I'll, I'll mark it as an option. The other option here is what? And since we have deriving, it should go one more tab there, right? Okay, so, so this is one option. Now I don't take the Anunasika. Anunasika option, then what will I get? So here I'll get only Sarkartha. This is this is where we are. I don't take the option. Then what will happen is that optional form I'll get is he says Sakara. This Sakara that you have here, and there is a room this room which is ordained. So, roho purvasmat, 
रो पूर्व स्मात इज बिफोर रो व्हाट इज देयर अकारा इज देयर पूर्व स्मात परा सो आफ्टर द अकारा व्हाट इज परा रेफा इज परा सो रो हो पूर्व स्मात परा इज व्हाट रेफा अलोन दिस रो सो रो रो हो अनुस्वार आगम भवति सो हियर दिस विल बी अनुस्वार आगम नाउ इफ दिस आगम इज देयर देन व्हाट विल हैपन इज दैट यू विल गेट नॉट रेफा दिस रेफा इज परा बट what is he saying purva smat para meaning this akara after this akara there will be a nasalization means that this there will be a nasalization not before but after therefore you will get what sa this is what you will get sa so sa will become basically it will be pronounced refa does not have uh, its uh, nasalization therefore you will get samra samra samras karta so this is the form you will get basically what is the idea forget uh, details in the lagu what lagu kara says these two sutras should be understood together 832 and 834 what is it saying in this ru prakarana ru is the adesha okay wherever ru is ordained whether it is for matu vaso ru sambuddha chandasi or anywhere you add ru immediately before ru what will happen in this prakarana whether it is uh, uh, samasuti संपुंका वक्तव्य पुम क्यम परे नश्चव्य प्रसान वेर एवर रू इज ऑर्डेड इन दीज ट्वेल्व सूत्रा देर ईदर इट विल हैव टू प्रिड विथ एन अनुनासिका और एन अनुस्वार वन ऑफ दी टू शुड डेफिनेटली बी देर प्रिसीडिंग दिस रू दैट्स ऑल इट इज सेंग डोंट गो इन टू टू मच ऑफ डिटेल्स अनुनासिका और अनुस्वार शुड प्रिसीड दिस रू वेन एवर रू इज ऑर्डेड इन दिस प्रकरण So what will be form? Either you will get this form, or you will get this form. Till you reach eight three five. Now, once you reach eight three five, what will happen? You have. Uh, he says, this rule. What happens to this rule after eight three twelve? What will happen is that. Kharavasa. खरवसान ह्योर विसर्जनीय वेन अ खर और अवसाना फॉलोज सप्तमी द्विवचना देन विसर्जनीय विसर्जनीय इज विसर्ग विसर्ग इज एन आदेश फॉर वॉट फॉर अ रह दिस रह इज देर फॉर द रेफा फॉर रेफा वेन रेफा इज फॉलोड बाय अ खर लेटर और एन अवसान अवसान इज अ पॉज खर लेटर इज वॉट खर लेटर इज खप छटत छटत कपई शसर so second of the class first of the class and shasasar whenever any of these letter follows a refa or uh, when there is an avasana meaning a pause or the end of the sentence or a comma wherever you are like a full stop you are going to pause there avasana then that refa will be uh, replaced by a visarga that's the sutra that he introduces next because derivation is not complete sarvaskarta you can't even pronounce this what is this so this refa will be replaced by a visarga he says khari avasane cha padantasya refasya visarga bhavati khari when a khar letter follows khari is what khar is varga dvitiya varga dvitiya ha dvitiya akshara or varga प्रथमा, प्रथमा हा, और व्हाट वर्ग द्वितीय हा, वर्ग प्रथमा हा और शर लेटर, शशसर और शर लेटर, दिस इज़ खर, अवसान है जो और अवसान है व्हेन दे फॉलो, खर अवसान है यो हो, दैट इज़ खर अवसान है यो हो, सप्तमी द्विवचना व्हेन any of these follows then visarjaniya is the adesha for what so shashti is is raha for a refa there is an anurutti of raha from earlier sutra and all these will be there purvatra siddham ityadi all those will be there refasya so therefore refasya visarga adesha bhavati पदांत से रेफस्य विच इज विच रेफा पदांत रेफा 
Padantha Refa will become Visarga. Now this Vartika, this is applicable. He says this is applicable. Therefore, since this Sutra is going to be applicable here, he is not covering this Sutra at all. Since this Sutra is going to be applicable, like Rama Ru, Rama Ha plus Su will become Ramas. Let like Ramas will become Rama Ru. Rama Ru will become Ramar and Ramar will become uh, that Refa of Rama uh, at the end. Ramar, Ramar Refa will become Ramaha. It will become Visarga. So that is the application of Kharavasana or Visarjaniya. When Avasana follows, when you chant Ramaha, Ramo, Ramaha. So Ramaha, Ramo, between Ramaha and Ramo, there is a pause. Avasana is there. And that time what Ramas, Ramas has become Ramar. Ramar will become Ramaha. And that's how you'll get Ramaha form in Prathama Ekvachana. That is the application of this sutra. However, Kharavasana or Visarjani has absolutely no clause. Only Khar or Avasana. So Avasana when, whenever there is a pause. Either a Khar letter follows, forget Khar letter. When Avasana follows there, all uh, declensions, when you pause, you will get an Avasana. So that time all Refa have to become Visarga. Now he says this is prapta here also, khayam pare, but not because of avasana, but because this sakara, this sakara is a khar letter. So this is prapta now, kharavasanya visarjani is prapta here and there should, therefore it should have become what? Sahaskarta, sahaskarta. So how will you get this sahaskarta, samaskrutam? You don't get samaskrutam. And you, the form is what? Finally, the form will be Sanskarta. You have seen this form here. Uh, sorry, I went a little more high. So, this form is Sanskarta. Actually, it should be Sanskarta. The form is Sanskarta or Sanskarta. Sanskarta or Sanskarta. These are the Sanskarta. Uh, anuna, uh, anunasika. Or Anunasika or Anuswara. Here it is Anuswara, here is Anunasika. One of these two forms will be there. But Visarga is not there. Why Visarga? Because he says, Kharavasanayo Visarjaniya iti prapte sati. When that is prapta, looking ahead, the Sutrakara knew that Kharavasanayo Visarjaniya will be prapta. Therefore, he got a Purva Apavada in Sampunkana. So, Sampunkanam so vaktavyaha. Here, Kharavasani or Visarjaniyaha and further also, there are other sutras also which will be applicable here. Uh, therefore, he says what? Sampunkanam saha vaktavyaha. There should be a saha, saha adesha there. But uh, first it will become Visarga. See, uh, this section itself is Visarga Sandhi, which is, we will see in Visarga Sandhi. This will be repeated in Visarga Sandhi also. It's a very complicated section. If you understand Visarga Sandhi, trying to understand by Sutra is okay. But if you do not understand Visarga Sandhi and you try to understand by Sutra, our uh, our teacher, our uh, Swamiji uh, used to say that people will quit the course. They will stop learning Lagu or they will start learning Ashtadhyayi. They will drop out at this Sandhi Prakarana itself. They will not go ahead. Uh, so it is a little difficult. Uh, that's why you see Lagukara has not given this example here what is happening so let's just uh, continue here and take this option you will see what is going to happen now now he says this samskarta it's difficult to pronounce midway I'll explain but this will difficult to pronounce so I'll not try to pronounce this sakara now refa Refasya, this Refa which is followed by Sakara Khari Pare, this Refa will become Visarga. How you will pronounce it? We will see that later because you don't need to pronounce it because it is still in Prakarna Avastha. Samskarta, so this is what is the Adesha now. When this happens, what is going to happen further is, see Visarjaniyasya Saha is coming up. When you go to 8, 4, 8, 4, <coughs> I'm sorry. 
सो विसर्जन से सह एंड वाशरी देर आर टू सूत्र विसर्जन से सह थर्टी फोर सॉरी एप्लीकेबल बट खरवसा विसर्जन विसर्ग यू लुक एट दिस नेक्स्ट सूत्र विच विल बी एप्लीकेबल व्हाट विल हैपन टू दैट विसर्ग नाउ विल इट रिमेन विसर्ग और विल कम बैक टू सकारा और समथिंग एल्स हैपन सो देयर विसर्जनीय से सहभवती विसर्जनीय सहभवती से अची गोस्टिल थर्टी थ्री देर इज नो अदर कंडीशन हियर ऑल विसर्जनीय से सहभवती एंड देन शर्परे विसर्जनीय से विसर्जनीय होती दिस विसर्जनीय गोष्ट थर्टी सिक्स एंड थर्टी सिक्स इज वाशरी वाशरी वी हैव अ खर लेटर हियर हियर वी हैव अ खर लेटर सकारा फॉलोइंग देर फोर खरी 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 कंडीशन विथ खरी कंडीशन वी हैव मेड अ विसर्ग नाउ दैट विसर्ग से विसर्जनीय से सकारा आदेश होती वा वाशरी वाशरी सकार आदेश होती सकार इज एन आदेश वेन शरी शर इज अंतर्गत इन खर शर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ खर वी सॉ दैट खर इज वॉट वर्ग द्वितीय वर्ग प्रथम है और शर शर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ खर सो देर फोर वेन सकार इज अ खर लेटर ऑब्विस्ली इट इज अ शर लेटर ऑल्सो नो सकार इज अ शर लेटर सो वाशरी इज प्राप्त वाशरी मेक्स दिस विसर्जनीय से सकार सह आदेश बिकम्स ऑप्शनल बाय दिस सूत्र देर फोर हियर वॉट दिस वार्तिका वुड से हाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड इज संपुंका सो वक्तव्य देर संपुंका संपुंका नाम सम दिस इज सम हैज बिकम सो सम एंड पुम If there is a pum, pum will follow later in the uh, sutra. We'll see in lagu. Lagu will take uh, the other sutra, which will deal with pum. But here sum is there. This sum, sum punka naam, makara of this sum punka naam saha visar. This visarga which is there, sum punka naam, sum punka naam. Here I'll uh, just put it in bracket here. Vartika is there, but I'll put something in bracket to make this uh, clear. What should be the explanation here? Va shari iti visarjaniyasya 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 saha sakara adesha visarjan saha. विभाषया प्राप्ते सती विभाषया प्राप्ते सती वेन प्राप्ते सती प्राप्ते प्राप्ते इति प्राप्ते वेन दिस ओके दिस इज अ लिटिल प्राप्ते द फॉन्ट इज नॉट गुड दिस प्राप्ते आई होप इट विल बी क्लियर आई जस्ट लीव सम स्पेस देयर प्राप्ते दिस दिस इज शुड गो अबो ते तकारा बट इट इज गोइंग एल्सवेयर सो ओके संपुंका नाम सो वक्तव्य सो वाशरी इति विसर्जनीय से स प्राप्ते आई पुट दिस इन ब्रैकेट देन व्हाट इज बीइंग सेड हियर इज वार्तिका इज सेड संपुंका नाम सो वक्तव्य सो वक्ते सह वक्तव्य सो सह वक्तव्य मीन्स व्हाट विभाषा न वक्तव्य देयर इज नो विभाषा व्हेन सम व्हेन व्हेन दैट सकारा इज फॉलोइंग अ सम संपुंका नाम दिस in that derivation which has sum or pum there this sakara which has become visarga not sakara this visarga it has become visarga and shari pare shari pare vibhasha which was there that vibhasha should be taken back and sah sakara should this adesha sakara should be ordained thereby what will happen it will become 
samskarta so this is an optional form that optional form will you take the first option or the second option it will become what samskarta thereby you will get these two forms samskarta samskarta or samskarta this visarga will become sakara this is the idea so the, we have derived the pada we we'll look at the this is a little difficult section so i couldn't cover much we'll see the next sutra tomorrow tomorrow where this pum this sampunkanam this pum will be dealt with now ृतावसाने नटराज राजो नन्नाधकान्नवपंचवार उद्धर तो काम सनकादि सिद्धाने तमर्शे शिव सूत्र एनी क्वेश्चन नमस्ते आल सी वी पाठ टू मोरू